So I thought today I would try a video that's a little bit out of my comfort zone and I would style some cozy winter outfits and show you kind of what I've been wearing on repeat this winter. Um, let me know if you enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, you know the usual. So first of all, we've got to start with some heat tech. A Uniqlo heat tech keeps you warm and cool at the right times. This is not sponsored. I'm just in love with their leggings and their thermals. So I popped on one of their tops and my stealth beige trousers, which upon reflection, probably needed an iron <laughs> before I put them on today. And then I put my feelers on. I actually love these feelers so much. Um, I think they're called like the destroyer or something, but they're really cool and they go with all of my beige clothes. And as you might know, I am a neutral, minimal beige queen. And then I always wear these high socks at the moment. I think every outfit I show today has some higher white socks just to try and keep my ankles warm. This is a new discovery for me. I'm very much feeling it. And then I go for the Uniqlo Merino Wool Jumper. This is such a classic. I've rinsed this the past two years. It's amazing. This is also kind of turtleneck season, so I am very much a turtleneck convert. If you don't know what to wear that day, pop on a turtleneck. It will make everything feel so much warmer, so much cozier, so much better. And then I threw on my Everlane puffer. I'm still working out ways of wearing this puffer because it's quite tight. And as you might be able to tell, I'm a tall lady with big hips. So you can really see it hits a slightly awkward point. I still love it though. So I'm getting my wear out of it. And then my East Pack bum bag. If you call them a fanny pack, I'm not speaking to you. For the next outfit, we have one of my favorite basics I've purchased pretty much ever. It is the Everlane waffle top. It is just warm as heck. I love it in the white. I love that it adds a little bit of texture to an outfit. And then I throw on my white jeans. I think these are from weekday. I'm not too sure. And then I popped on Converse. Converse are usually a summer shoe, I think, but I love them in winter as well. I think they work really well. Assuming it's not raining, would not recommend. And then I throw on my oversized fleece. Oh, living in this right now. I thought I could get away with getting a coat that wasn't teddy, but actually the teddy texture is just the best thing in the world. And then I throw on my Fendi camera bag. This is my latest purchase and I am in love. Um, I have to say it now, my first designer bag. No, my second. The lovely guys at Dior actually gifted me one when I worked with them in 2018, but I've never used it because I'm too scared to do anything with it. But this is my new favorite. I adore this Fendi bag. I love that it's black and brown because it goes with so many of my outfits. Okay, next we have something that makes me feel a little insecure. I won't lie to you, this Zara bodysuit, but it is so flattering. I love it so much. And then I always think of it as the Rosie Huntington Whiteley bodysuit because she just works them so well. Then I popped on my velvet trousers. I think of this whole outfit as my I'm a student in 2020 look because I feel like a lot of students look like this, but I could be wrong. I'm not a student anymore. And then I threw on my Uniqlo Merino wool jumper again because it's just a banger, so versatile. I throw on my oversized fleece because it is so cozy and warm and it just adds texture to a look. And then I also put on my feelers because I think they're so cool, as you know. And then this tiny bag I got from Mango is so useful actually. I bought it for Christmas party season, but for outfits like this, it works perfectly. So I'm not usually one to go very dark on my outfits lately, but I thought, I'll show some different like tones of neutral in this. So I started with my grey heat tech top, not to be mistaken for my jumper. And then I popped on my nudie mum jeans, which are some of the best jeans I've ever owned. They are so resilient and they really last and they go the distance. Like somehow I haven't broken the zipper, even though I have to wiggle into these. And I've broken the zipper on some more expensive trousers than that, believe me. Then we put on my Doc Martens. Oh, my absolute babies. These are the Emmeline's. They have taken too long to break in. I'm not gonna talk about it today, but I do really love them and the look that they provide. And then I throw on my emerald coat. It is a leopard print. It makes everything jazzy. I'm such a huge fan of it. And then my black trapeze bag. Again, it just goes with so many things. It can fit my film camera and my purse in it and my phone. And if that's not a sign of success, I don't know what is. Now we're back to the Everlane waffle top along with my Levi ribcage jeans. The ribcage style is just the best. It fits me so well and makes my bum look amazing as I'm probably exemplifying right here. Then I popped on my Converse, which is great as well because I don't have my ankles out so they can't get chilly. I popped my green jumper V-neck on. I love a V-neck jumper, but if you like me, um, get the coldest chest in the world in winter, pop a little like high neck top underneath. You'll look really cute. It will look really nice. 
you'll look cool, like you know loads about fashion. Haha, <laughs> we both don't, I get you. So yeah, also the little necklaces. I love the way they peek out, it's just cute. Then I popped on my cord jacket. I got this from Weekday, it's huge, absolutely huge. Warm, cozy, keeps you toasty. And then I went with my Goddess Energy tote, which I adore. This is my favorite tote, and I bring it out every time I wanna do some grocery shopping, or I'm going down to Broadway Market. It's just cute and versatile, and it's organic and all the good sustainable things. So next we have an outfit that I won't lie. I really liked when I dressed it all up and put all the layers on, but at the beginning I was a bit unsure. I started with these satin trousers. I love them for evenings. They have had so much wear this Christmas because Christmas party, am I right? And then I popped it on with this turtleneck that I fondly refer to as my chopping board turtleneck. And then a gray jumper. This gray jumper is not cozy in terms of it's itchy as heck, so I have to wear something long sleeved under it. But once the long sleeve is under it, I am warm. I am so warm and it looks so cute. Then we're back to the feelers, the trusty feelers, and my trusty fleece. Also, it drops down a bit lower at the back than at the front, so it covers your bum if you're wearing something like leggings, which makes it the perfect traveling jacket. I can't tell you how grateful I was to have this when I went skiing. And finally, the East Pet bum bag. And for the last outfit, I wanted to wear something that wasn't a polo neck or turtle neck because I feel like I've just gone in on those this whole video. I went with my Led Zeppelin tee, which isn't actually made by Led Zeppelin. I hope they're getting compensated. I popped on my Staff Navy trousers. These are my ride or die Staff trousers. I wear these at least once a week. They're incredible. Then I popped on my oversized beige jumper. I would have gone for my higher necked one, but I kind of wanted my t-shirt to peek out a little bit and like create that layered look. I like being able to see that people, like like the layers, like a cake. This is such a cozy outfit. I would have worn this to the library back in the day, or now I wear it when I'm kind of working in the house, but I'm going out a bit later on. And then I wear my beiges. They are so good. They're a sustainable trainer, if you don't know. And I think these ones just go with everything. They are very worn. <laughs> you can see how beaten up they are. I popped on my cord jacket and then my tote bag again. And there you have it. These are seven cozy winter outfits. Thanks so much for watching this video and do let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know your favorite and also let me know what you thought of the style of the video because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I really enjoyed making it though. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.